Hello, I'm Nat Ives, and this is 3-Minute Adage. In just over a year, Hulu has gone from zero to 1,000 miles an hour as an internet phenomenon. According to Nielsen, it now streams more online video than any other site except YouTube. And it's also widely viewed as the splashy symbol of the potentially bright future of a much-troubled traditional TV industry. But will its thin margins ultimately allow it to become a long-term business success? That was the question put to Hulu CEO Jason Keelar in an onstage interview at the 4A's leadership conference. Okay, enough with the softball questions. The economics. <clears throat> a lot of people say, back of napkin sketches, there's no business here. The cost of distributing high quality digital content uh, is just prohibitively expensive to you know, extract revenues just from, uh, from advertising alone. How do you respond? So if you're a small business, that is true. If you're a small business, I think the margins are very challenging uh, in the online video space. Uh, and I'd also say that it's very challenging if you don't have um, a revenue model associated with your video. I think those two things are very true. Now, things change, though, when you actually get to scale. So we're at a th about 380 million streams a month right now, uh, and we have 42 million users a month you're starting to get to the kind of reach um, and size where you can really help advertisers. When you obsess over an advertising service that really works and you're able to bring reach and size, um, it, it turns out that you know, people care about that uh, and so the revenue does come in. And then with regards to size, you also get the advantage of, of, of scale with, with streaming costs. So one of our biggest expenses outside of the team is our streaming costs, like you, you mentioned. Um, the good news is we happen to be one of the top customers in the United States for streaming for services like Akamai. And so um, they treat us with that, that respect. And um, so, uh, you know, I don't want to miss that expectation. This is not, this will not have the same margin structure as a lot of businesses, agencies included. We are a distribution business, which means that by, by nature of that, we're going to be relatively thin margins. But that said, some of the best companies on the planet have those exact same characteristics, including one that I spent the last decade with, which is Amazon. Um, it turns out you can do very good at scale with thin margins. Um, and that's why frugality is so important to us, because if we fly coach and, and use cardboard boxes to hold up our monitor stands, we're able to spend money on, on clients and advertisers and technology that other companies are spending on plane tickets. And that's it for this three-minute adage. Thanks for being with us. I'm Nat Ives at Advertising Age in New York.